So Glyph will follow you around. Help you. Help you. We read the dossiers last time. We read time. all the dossiers, yeah. What else have we got around here? Uh, so it works exactly the same oh, as the Normandy. Right. It's a second base. So you can redistribute the... For a thousand ESO, you can swap out anyone's powers. Alright. Uh, we got 2,500 ESO. Okay. The hour is there to chat to us. We've got a ship model of the Shadow Broker. Ship. And Not we can that. do the... Purchase the locations of planets that are got mining. Well, we don't need it, and it's the end of the game. We're not going to do anything with that. We can open the shutters and look outside. Uh, it's a bit like a prison, though, isn't it? Uh, we've got a, a, a mission report ready for bureaucracy in action. Okay. Failure. Certain foundations' antibiotic tests have been blocked by central legislation. Warning signal ready. Yeah. Success! Admiral Hackett and the 5th Fleet have ambushed colony raiding pirates. Excellent. We've got 2,000 credits. Smear campaign. Ah, he retires after our smear campaign. we got 5,000 credits. Just reward. Success! we got a cut from their raid of the Red Sand facility. And it just gives you little investment opportunities over and over and over. Yeah. Now, we don't want to do any of that. We want to come to the back. There's your research terminal in case you wanted to research upgrade. that final heavy pistol damage upgrade. Yeah, just to Get make that final sure damage protection all upgrade. All those bits and bobs. So everything for the one last mission we've got to do. Come back here, which is where Theron chills out. Put some music on. Shepard, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're yeah. probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. We put some <laughs> ominous music on in the background. Uh, what's your relationship with Liara? For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. Okay. He doesn't, as far as I can remember, die in Mass Effect 3, but he doesn't show up again. He's an agent for her, so he goes off and does stuff. What's your health like? How are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be alright. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How often were you tortured? How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? <clears throat> a lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch, as an example. What are your plans? What will you do now that you're a free man? I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync it to your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. How'd you mean? How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Why switch sides? What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor. Not a slaver. What about the drone? Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. What about Liara as the broker? Yeah. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. Take it easy, Farron. Thanks. You're a good lad. Uh, good lad. So if you come further this way, you get an access to some video archives. You want to watch one specific video on this archive. Right. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. 
I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Aria okay. to look. So Omega. Zoom in. And watch it like that, or we can zoom out and watch it like that. Alright. Is Aria getting someone murked? Yeah. Emily Wong. Citadel. It's Emily Wong dancing. Fred Mazai, Citadel. It's Fred Mazai. You talking to me? You talking yeah. to me? Yeah. Yeah. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Udina picking a fight with some dude. Yeah. Armando Bailey, Citadel. Bailey getting very, very drunk, having a cigarette and staring into space. Yeah, very bad. David Anderson, Citadel. There's uh, Anderson meeting with one of our crew. Yeah. Don't know who that crew man is, but he's ours. He's ours. Praetor Gavar, Omega. Remember him? Yeah. Hates Vulture. <laughs> Kalisa bin Sinan Al Jilani. Interviewing Citadel. a Krogan. I'm sure this will go well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we like that. Keeper 20, Citadel. There's a dead blood pack behind that keeper. There was. Walking away from it. Matriarch Atheta. This Ilium. is the one we wanted. That's that's the bartender from Ilium. Yeah. Oh, no, no. yeah. And getting drunk and looking a picture of Liara. That's her dad. That oh. is going to register that we've watched this. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. <laughs> Elias Kellum, Omega. I'm glad I broke your nose, racist. Jacob Taylor, Normandy SR2. He's doing crunches. Yeah. Shadow Broker had access to everything. He had access to all cameras. Subject Zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. Shame you can't do that when we're playing. Do it in escape. That was Jack's escape. Aria to look. Omega. And that's it. Check for more videos on your next visit. No, I'm alright. Yeah, we've done them all now. Alright, do you want to move any further back? No, oh, I'm just feeding the dog at the same time. It's the last one. So. Go and talk to her. No new shipments. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. I'll be a bit careful about that. Yeah. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. Oh, you know, okay. relatively speaking. Is it too much? If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. 
Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Well, what have you got? Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also no. knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's okay. even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. We'll get into that in Mass Effect yeah. Andromeda. Right. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Brokers seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or... Maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. He was right. You're the one that's going to tell us about that in the next game. How do you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea <laughs> what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture. And a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. You two together? So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. Okay, goodbye. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. Oh, yeah, hammered with Liara? Yeah! That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. If you romance her in Mass Effect 1, this is where you hook up again. All right. Uh, we didn't romance her in Mass Effect 1. Liara will always have a crush on you, though. All right. Much like Tally will always have a crush on you. So let's get hammered with Liara. Big fish. I've actually got Posh Frog Did on. you enjoy the tour? Posh Frog, fuck's sake. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. You Although... He did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chakwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but yeah, doc I recovered back. your tags. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? Yeah, I'm about to go do a job for him. Yeah. He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. So, unfortunately, our music is playing in the background while the soundtrack is playing. Uh, yeah. Good, good glitch there. I'm worried, I'm hopeful, I'm frustrated. Worried. Between you and me, I have no idea how we're gonna do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. You and your team destroyed the Collectors and walked out alive. Yeah, we did. We yeah. bought them in their own base, and we won. They can't call us young or primitive anymore. Young? You know, I'm 108. 109 in a couple of months. I should get you something nice. You're alive again. I've got everything I want. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? Uh, if you're in a romance, yep. she'll say you fighting for so and so, or if you're romancing her, she'll say, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Nesting. It's my bed. Uh, <laughs> life everywhere or survival? Life everywhere. I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. 
That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. Yeah. Hell yeah. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Oh, hug. Right. Come back soon. Oh. That's the end of Lair of the Shadow Broker. Yeah. I think it dumps us back on her. Or does it dump us back in the control room? Oh, don't take me to the next deck because I need to feed my fish before we go and do arrival. <laughs> no messages for you. Please. Well, there wouldn't be. I've done the game, Kelly. For fuck's sake, keep up. <laughs> see, see, still alive. Right. So we're gonna feed a fish. No, 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 no. We can invite Kelly up <laughs> if you want. No. You don't want to get a strip tease no, from Kelly. No, no. It's not a romance. So, oh, who are we gonna go with? What are we fighting? Uh, we are fighting dudes. Scary shit, though. Helmet. Give us a helmet. We'll wear a helmet anyway because we're going outside. So, a very, very long time ago, Admiral Hackett phoned us. Yeah. Told us to go to Aratot on the Batarian outpost in Aratot in the Bahak system in the Viper Nebula to break Dr. Amanda Kenson, an old friend of his, out of, out of a Batarian prison. This is a sneaking mission. There oh. is a stealth path through this with zero combat. Right. I don't know if I can remember it or not. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. That'll be I'll all. be here if Thank you need anything. Thank you very anything. much, Kelly. Got to not get her killed in the next game. So we get access to a new system. We can um, harvest this, but it doesn't do anything. No. We're just going to leave. <coughs> oh, it's over here. I don't know why I was going there. It's over here. Just banked a hard right then. Yeah, use a lot of gas up. Huh? Uh, it doesn't matter because we are going to buy some more, and then we will never fly again once we we reach our. Uh... There's all those Ezo Iridium and Platinum Rich Planets. It's down here somewhere. Here it is, Viper Nebula. Now this was actually released well after Mass Effect 2 and all the, uh, the stuff. all the other games came out. This was released what would have been right before Mass Effect 3, but it, Mass Effect 3 was delayed by a year. So, let's do some sneaking. I'm gonna panic save here, yeah, because I want to stealth this. I mean, there was an achievement. I don't think there's an achievement in this version. No. But I would rather not fight a fuckload of dudes on my own. No. Are we on we our own, have right? no squad. No squad. It is just us. We will pick up a second squad mate for some of it, who is also an engineer. So, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're as good as we're going to get. We're tooled up. Sneaking mission, Snake. <laughs> Apparently, I was pointing my big gun at the Shadow Broker. I was, I remember now, yes. Yeah, no squad, no nothing. Put your gun away. So, no, we want our gun out. Power. If I fuck up, I will be reloading because we want to stealth this.
We've been spotted. It's a Batarian yeah. war beast. The Batarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. This is weird, because Shepard talks to themselves a lot. Yeah. But there's no other squad to talk to, so Shepard just talks out loud rather than think. He navigates himself. So. Remember the stupid bridge and have to go up and down. Do you remember this deal? Some of it. We got to be a sneaky beaky. There's a baron up there. Yeah. This place is run down. Even for a prison. Get your hands off me! Don't get spotted. Trying to remember the route here, by the way. That's why I'm being a bit quiet. Well, you're being... You do not want this to kick off, because we have no backup. And there are more than one way to do it. Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. Ah. Ah, coffee room. Is this right? This is right. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. Oh, they're up on that. That's where we want to go. They just got to dodge the guards, then. Ah, eject it. I don't even know if there's an achieve if, an achievement in this version. No way it would have worked. Relay can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to support, I swear. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terror. Oh, there's Yeah, I know the path. Drop down. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I've gone really quiet because I, I know a vague path, but I don't know if yeah, this, this is Yeah, well, you're doing path. quite well. Locker and a log. Somewhere down here. Right. I think this is right. You have to kill him. Who are you? What are you doing? Dr. Kenson, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. 
Hackett must have received my message. I see you're suffering from Kelly's stupid fucking hair syndrome. <laughs> we have to get out. We're not safe here. Can you walk? And you also look younger than you did in the original version of the game. Interesting. I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. So I guess the achievement's not in this version, but that would have been an achievement. Then right? we'll find one. Not breaking go. stealth. Ready. Right. Right. Okay. Escape the prison. So we can't change her gear, but she's an engineer like us. So that's going to make this a bit wobbly. Shouting. Yeah, you went down here, didn't you? This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. I'm in Dragon Age, don't you know? So now it's all going to kick off. Stupid covers at a stupid angle, stupidly. You should use kneecap now. Shepard can't go around corners in this one. That's the next game. Get spicy. We've got to steal a shuttle. Steal they're shuttle. gonna, yeah, they're gonna be coming up a big central elevator here. And yeah, have fun, have fun, 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 fun. So when we boot this, where are you, Kenson? Come on. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Oh yeah. Okay, got a nice big table there to hide behind. So this is gonna suck by the way. This is no fun on insanity. It should be coming up on elevator in the middle. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, we're dead. Because I came up on the elevator. They rushed God, you. Why yeah. do you always look at me when we die? Oh, it's why just Why do you always so look quick. at me like, how quick oh it my, was. of course you die quick. Here. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. Right. Uh, see, I don't want to use my heavy weapons because I know what's coming. The the so they come up and they're here. See how many lifts there are? That's how they come up. Yeah. We need to close the door 
door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming up. No, yeah, they're coming from up from below. Up, up the ramps. Other side, go. Oh, you can tell I've not done this in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, oh, I got oh. stuck on a bit of wall. It's yeah. fun. It's fun. It's all right. It's the last mission in the game. Back to the Don't start. Fear. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. Right, so first thing is to head towards that door. Surprise the teams to cell block now. You're going to be coming through the door. But you've got a shot. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming up from below. They're coming through that door. Other side, go. Drop, can you drop a... Oh, oh he won't same go thing there, happened. Right? Yeah. Exactly the same thing fucking happened. It's fine. Alright, better jump. Tracking network. Ah, where is he? Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. when you haven't got a squad. <laughs> Told you they like to throw the flashbangs. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Another drone. I don't like being frozen, do I? That did it. Let's move. There we go. Right. Where's the elevator? What, that big elevator there? Yeah. It's gonna get spicier. <clears throat> Is there any pickups? Come on. So, because we have to uh, get to the shuttle, then hold the line again on the shuttle. But you're just stuck with this bit. Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old-fashioned way. Leave that to me. Heads up. <coughs> Ow. Whoa. Yeah, you. I feel the same way I do about flashbacks. Now there's some there's some boots to shoot. There's one. The other one is blocked. Shield down. Oh, you got one either side. It's too hot in here. Take out those 
Oh, fucking... They've changed it. Where's that guy? They've changed it. You can just blow those two things up yeah. and just hit board and not have to deal with any of that shit. <laughs> but they've changed it, because of course they've changed it. Yeah, well, now you know. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Just shoot the two locks and hit enter or sorry spacebar yeah. yeah. on the um on the shuttle and just leave. Deploy inflammable. Not have to do yes. anything. Two of them. Shuttle, board. No, we can't board, we just did that. That wasn't nearly. Don't don't patronize me. That was nearly. I never fucking patronize ever when I'm playing a game. <laughs> this isn't on the hard. Is it? <laughs> Why are you trying to take cover where I'm trying to take cover? Stopping me from doing my cheat turn. When you're doing this on insanity, that's the cheat turn. Run, shoot the locks. Right. It's not working. Right, they don't need some more down. It's such a small change. It's big enough. Right. It's Tricking them off, get back, feel like cover. Uh, Kenson, do you want to get on the ground or what? <laughs> do you want to not be shit? Oh, she's decided, uh, she's decided to walk through the shield. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Fucking stupid thing. Changed it slightly, but enough to make it not right for me. Anyway, these guys are gonna burn. <laughs> right. Oh. So. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. 
My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Yep, yeah. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. This is why it was a big uh, nobody's willing to find everyone out what kicked off when one is the destroyed. Original... And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. In the original Mass Effect 3 ending, every single relay, no matter what you do, blows up at the same time. All right. And when you see what happens at the end of this DLC, you'll yeah. see why that was a bad thing. Bad thing. Uh, it's called bad writing, kids. Is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. How were you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, and aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful Mass Effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Ooh. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The artifact? Right. 